this video, we're going to cover the use of view types and view templates, which are pre-populated throughout the entire Parallax template to make working on projects efficient. You may recall from the introduction video of the template that there are a large number of different view types throughout the entire template. Essentially, anytime there is a different drawing type, which would show or represent the built environment different, a new view type is created and with that new view type comes a new view template controlling the way those views look. For instance, we may have an overall building floor plan, as you see on the left. That would be found on A2.10. It's a 16th inch plan showing the overall footprint of the building made to basically narrate the story of the building before sending you to the 8th inch plans which are 2.11 through 2.19, which will tell you in more descriptive detail, including things like dimensions and tags. If we compare just the way the building looks in the same area of the building on these two sheets, you'll see a number of differences. First, the overall 16th inch plan wants to show building section markers, which go all the way across the building, and exterior elevation markers, which show the entire exterior of the building. Meanwhile, the plans on A211 through A219 want to show detailed wall section markers for where you can learn about the constructability of the building, and they want to show interior elevation markers for what happens inside individual rooms. There are other differences that happen in these views. For instance, the overall floor plan may show furnishings and other equipment to kind of give you a general idea of where those things are placed they would be removed from the 8th inch plan so that the 8th inch plan has room for things like wall tags, dimensions, and other information about constructability. Later on in the set of drawings, since you know the furniture exists, having seen it in the overall plan, you may go find the furniture plan in the A20s where you'd get an even different representation of those pieces of furniture now boldened and the focal point of this particular drawing. These are three different examples of plans that are set up completely different, and we don't want any of this information to have to be manually altered by the people using the template. There are other small differences as well, such as the 16th inch plan doesn't show countertops transparent, meaning that you're not seeing the many lines of the base cabinets that are underneath the countertops. When we're at the eighth inch, however, that's where we're wanting to get an idea of exactly what cabinets are underneath those countertops so things are showing as partially transparent so that you can see more information beneath them. All of these changes are set up automatically in the template. The way that's done is through the use of view types and view templates. So if we look at the first two plans we discussed, you would see that one of them is what's called a floor plan partial and one of them is what's called a floor plan overall. If you were to switch your project browser to what we previously called the quality control setting, you would see that overall plans are using a view template that's called floor plan overall, whereas the floor plan partial is using a different view template called floor plan partial. If you wanna access the view templates directly, you can go to the view ribbon and the view template button is on the far left side and you can go to manage view templates to see a full list of all of the view templates that are in the projects. From this list you'll see that the view templates are named very similarly to the views themselves and from here you could start to go into your view templates to see the differences. For instance the floor plan overall view template you can see here is at the 16th inch whereas the partial plan is at the 8th. While Revit can use view templates to control things through category and subcategory under the VG Overrides Model tab, for the majority of things that are pre-built in the Parallax template, you will find that they are controlled under the VG Filters tab. For instance, the presence of the furnishings in the overall plan and having them turned off in the partial plan is done by unchecking the visibility for the Include Furnishings parameter. If we were to close out of this view template and go back to the overall view template, you would see that the include furnishings filter is on, 
but it's also set to transparent and dashed lines or light gray lines, which is why you're seeing them uh, partially obscured. If we compare that to the furniture plan where we saw the furniture fold on the sheet, you would see that include furnishings are set to be solid hatched and have much thicker lines than they do on the overall floor plan. There are a large number of standard filters inside the parallax template, and there will be an entire video that follows this on those filters. What you should take away from this video is that the majority of the differences in these plans are covered by those filters. In the partial floor plan view template, if we look through the filter list, you'll see that there are some that are categorized as fire ratings. There are some that are categorized as casework. There is a clearances all categories filter that controls all of the accessibility and space protection clearances that are in the parallax content. And there are also a large number of view marker filters. These get to be very important considering architectural documentation, as this is how we, for instance, turn off building sections and turn on wall sections. One important takeaway that you should, that you should get from looking at this filter list right here is that whenever you go to create a new view in this template, you always want to be cognizant of what view type you're creating. If you're creating a new plan by going to floor plan, in the dialog box it will ask you at the top which type of floor plan are you creating. If you're creating a finish plan, you can select finish plan. If you're creating a furniture plan, you can create furniture plan. Based on what view type you pick, that is the view template that will be assigned by default. You can change it later, but that will, con that will originally decide what you can see in that view and what you cannot. Similarly, if we're working in an eighth inch view, we know right now that building sections are turned off and wall sections are turned on. When we click on the section button to make a new, a new section, you'll see a list of sections available. Building sections, vertical circulation, wall sections, section details, millwork sections, and so on. If I click on building section and draw one diagonally through the building here, you'll notice that it's not visible in this view and we'll get the pop-up from Revit that's telling us we cannot see any of the elements we've just created. Keep in mind if this happens to you, you can always go to the top of your project browser to the coordination view called Find Things Here. When this view opens, keep in mind that everything will be very brightly colored as that's how it's showing you which filters are affecting what things. You'll now see that this diagonal section that you drew is here, and you'll see that it is of the type building section. If that's not what you meant for it to be, you can now switch it to wall section, which will then make it show up in the eighth inch plan. Keep in mind though that while view templates are linked to view types, uh, switching the view type does not automatically change the view section or the view template. This is where in our QC project browser sorting, if we now go down to wall sections and expand it, you'll see that one wall section is using the building section view template, which is not correct. So we will switch this back to wall section. And you'll see that now, if we go back to our eighth inch plan, it will be visible. There it is. Keep in mind this is true while you're making callouts as well, whether they be for plan details or for enlarged room plans, you'll want to pick what type of callout you want to use. If it's a plan detail, you'll want to use the ones called plan details. If it's an enlarged plan for vertical circulation or a room, you'll want to use those. Another example is as we're looking at this bathroom in the eighth inch plan, you'll see that most of the detail in the bathroom is there, but the ADA clearances are not. If we were to open up the enlarged room plan, you would see that then the ADA clearances are all now visible because they are turned on in the filters list of this view template. They are turned off in the other plans, hence we don't see them. If we go back to those plans, and we were to edit this view template to make it so that the clearances are now turned on, you would then see them again. One of the goals of the parallax template is that this filter list is fairly consistent uh, view to view and project to project, with the exception of 
not all filters are present in all views. The next video in the series will go through all of the filters and what they specifically are meant to do.